I have made it to my next stop. I'm still in Culpeper. Uh, I've only bought two items so far and I've spent under $20. I'm gonna be super frugal just because I'm planning on doing another big shopping trip in PA in the next couple days. Um, the prices are a little bit lower there, I find. But anyway, it's good to get out and see some different stuff. Let's go in and see what they got. As I walked in the door, oh my god, I almost just screamed. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. This is insane. I've never even seen one in a full set like this before. Whoa. That is epic. Um, I think the last one I sold similar to this was like $79. I'm trying to be quiet because there's like a lot of people around me, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick that up. Now, I'm also interested, and it's $25 and 20%. I'm also interested in this cute little bone china set, but 13 with 20% is a little underwhelming for me, especially if that's the first thing I'm picking up. Okay, but this is also hilarious. <laughs> for $5 and 20%, I'm gonna pick that up too. That's amazing. And though the uh, pig has some paint loss. It's still only $4.20, so I'm gonna grab that as well. Got a nice little pile going on here. I might've spoke too soon. What's going on in here? Well, I saw a couple little knickknacks in the cases and such over in that booth and I picked all that stuff up. That interested me, but I kind of, it wasn't like the most exciting thing. I wanted to go around the rest of the place before I, had uh, cases open. Oh my gosh, Edward Mobley. Oh, $20. I don't see a discount sign either. And it doesn't really squeak um, for a collector. That's more than fair. But for resale, uh, it's pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees, if not right on the money. Interrupting to give a sold update. A lot of people ask me, uh, what this sold for it just sold on eBay for hundred and fifty dollars now I do think I could have gotten more um, But of course it's got some chips on it either way. It was still an awesome return It's like a shelf of owl stuff over here the little bisque ones Seeing a lot of newer stuff though. So this booth has 30% off I really want to pick up the amber glass ashtray, but I've picked up a few of these recently after a long hiatus and um, they're still sitting there, so I can't justify that. Hmm. Lots of stuff that's like almost for me. Nothing that's really. Oh, look at these. These are kind of funny. Boxer. This one's, wait, is this one $5 and 30%? Maybe I'll get that. I'm just making sure, oh, it's got some chips at the bottom of the, uh, the tip of the ear. I was gonna say, that's a really good price. Those little boxer figurines usually sell pretty quick. Um, they don't sell for that much, but if it was $3.50, I would've picked it up. I really like the uh, general array of items they have here. There's a big variation. I love these Italian prints. I used to pick them up all the time. Um, those are a little more than I'd like to spend. I think they say 30 each or 20 each. Yeah, that's about what I sold this for. Norcrest, now we're talking. This is um, 20 bucks, but 20% off. That's still a little bit more than I'd like to spend on that. This egg is very cool. Let's see, and what's this cat? This looks like it might be newer, but it's got an interesting look to it. Huh. Made in England, it's hand signed, $50. All right, I'm not gonna read much more about that. <laughs> now, these are really nice. These, these Italian, yes, they are. They're vintage too. $8, that's really pretty. So $6.40, I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Um, this, it's been so long since I found these. I used to find them all the time. Oh my gosh, I love the backings on them too. It's really pretty. I might just get all of them. What's this one? Ten dollars. Hmm. That one is a little bit different. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave that one. 
I know, I'm weird. I, I just don't want to, you know, I've been getting, like, all of something, which is something I normally don't do. If there's, like, five of something, I usually get, like, three of them. And, you know, it's, like, two sell, and then the last one, um, the last one I'm stuck with that's so cute. I've picked these up before. They didn't sell well, honestly. You know, I thought they were adorable. This booth is so pretty. I love all the uh, vintage hats. Of course, where I get my vintage hats is way cheaper, I guarantee. Yeah. So I'm not going to mess with those. This is really pretty too. What is this? California pottery? Yeah. I have to know what these pink donkeys are. These are so cute. $12. And it's a planter. Oh, dang, but it's cracked. Oh, that's a bummer. That is so cute. This is kind of nice too, isn't it? Well, another random 50% off booth see a lot of stuff we like in here i'm really just kind of trying to go for that zippy the monkey though there's a, there's a lot of obstacles hold on i'm gonna have to put my phone down and like climb over there alas he is a hundred dollars and uh 50 off oh my gosh can i get out of here even those are nice yeah that is uh that's unfortunate these are nice but honestly i haven't had much luck with the sugar and creamer I had, it's been like one sells, one doesn't, and they're sold separately. That's bizarre. So much for 50%. And of course, this little angel is pretty adorable. $30. So 15, that's about what I'd get for that after fees, probably. Oh, look at this chair. That's fantastic. Oh, I love that. Wow. That is an epic chair. Some of these brooches are really neat. They look artist made for sure. Going for enamel. There's no discount though. They're definitely more than I'd like to spend. This one's cool. This is ceramic. Definitely different. I'm so into this necklace. <laughs> that is so much fun. Is it marked? No. Let's see. Five dollars. That is really fun. Oh, I kind of love it. It's definitely vintage. I would have gotten it for resale, except the clasp makes me a little nervous. It's kind of hard to open, and it's super fragile. I don't want it to uh, break as soon as someone gets it. That would be a shame. This is a new one. This is perhaps the most confusing booth discount sign I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just kind of going to look around and see if there's anything I'm even interested in that's worth wrapping my head around that crazy sign. Let's see. I got some vintage over here. All right, well, what's... So this is 30%. 30%. $30 firm. No, this is too confusing. I'm over it. There's too much going on in here. Not fun. That is such a cool mirror. There's a couple things that catch my eye here. Um, one is the vases. $10 for their pair. That's not bad. This is very cool. Oh, unfortunately, it's very cracked. I was going to say these uh, cigarette boxes with the ashtrays are kind of hard to find. And I always pick them up if they're different or unique, but broken. I can't, can't do anything about that. And we have another 20% off booth. Of course, the first thing I noticed is this glass vase. That's not a bad price at all. It's super cheap. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. And uh, the deer, $3.25. That's a Hong Kong one, it looks like. Oh, I don't wanna mess with glitter though. Sorry, I don't feel like getting glitter all over me. I know. People love the deer, but I'm just not crazy about that one. And in case you're wondering why I love this, it's because I have so many candle rings right now. I don't even know what to do with them, so I'm gonna chill on that. Even though it has fruit, we love big fruit. What's the little fish? Five dollars, and then twenty percent, so four bucks. Is it signed under here? Oh, this is that same person that I bought all that cool stuff. Looks like a little hobbyist piece. It's got a spot of... No, that looks like a manufacturing defect. All right, for four bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up too, because why not? 
What is this cow figurine? Oh my gosh. $12. Even with 15% off, something ain't right about that actually. Now that I look at it, it looks like reproduction. Something, yeah, and it's supposed to be a salt and pepper shaper set. Something's not right. Well, I definitely found my big score of the day. I'm obsessed with those Arnart chicks. I paid $53 for everything in there. Now I'm gonna get on the road. I have one last stop before I head back home. <laughs>